Hi, my name is Ted Ross. I'm a professor here at the University of Georgia, and I'm here to answer your questions about coronavirus. The vaccine is actually what's going to be needed to get us out of this pandemic. That mask and social distancing goes so far, but we're not going to get back to a normal life until we get the vaccine distributed, not only in the United States, but worldwide to get enough people vaccinated to really protect us against uh, future infections. And that's a commitment that each of us are going to have to make. Right now, they seem to be very safe. There have been no serious adverse events associated with these vaccines. There are mild uh, events that people are reporting, which is not unusual for any vaccine or drug. <laughs> uh, well, I'm a Beatles guy. <laughs> Well, we're seeing a wide range of side effects, but most people experience a sore arm or an injection site pain where the needle was injected into your muscle. Um, some others are feeling some uh, temporary lethargy, meaning they feel tired or they have a, a mild fever. It usually doesn't last more than eight to 24 hours. And by the time they wake up the next morning, they're feeling fine again. It cannot give you COVID. No. <laughs> How often do you get that question? <laughs> Occasionally, yes. I'm not a very good painter. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact that you feel uh, a little bit of fever and a little bit of soreness in your arm is actually known as inflammation. And this is actually means the vaccine is working. It's stimulating your immune system to recognize this vaccine is foreign and it's making an immune response against this foreign entity that's entered your body. And so that's actually an indication that the vaccine is working in you pretty well. Right now, the community is leaning towards yes. People that get infected, the immunity that they have may not be the same as a vaccinated immunity. We do, even vaccinated people uh, still will need to wear masks and be able to keep a six foot distance because again, we do not know whether or not you can still be infected and transmit that virus to someone else, even if you don't feel any signs of disease at all. So I have been vaccinated and I still wear my mask and I still keep my distance from people. <laughs>